Hi, my name is Terrence Dick, and this is Views. This is the second of a three-part series on the theme of home. It's called No Place Like Home. We're here visiting the Art Gallery of York University. It's a campus on the outskirts of Toronto and asking questions about what it means to call a place home, particularly when you or your family aren't originally from that place or because of that lineage, you're made to feel like you don't belong. Art scenes are usually predominantly on the downtown, but what does it mean to be an artist from the margins, from the suburbs? Migrating the Margins is an exhibition that highlights the changing geography of the Toronto art scene. It reflects the changing demographic of Toronto and maps a shift from the city centre outward to the city's margins, the suburbs. Artists of colour have traditionally been marginalised, if not completely erased from representations of the Toronto art scene. So an exhibition like this is important because of the way it changes who's included. This exhibition harkens back to a discussion about multiculturalism versus the melting pot, the kind of Canadian ideal of diverse cultures working together in an equal fashion but retaining separate identities and the American idea of a kind of melting pot where everyone becomes American. The AGYU curators propose a third alternative, mixing, where diversity is a defining element of the country but it doesn't assume a kind of equality. In fact, the differences inevitably remain unequal. Without being too reductive, Erica de Freitas' work ties into her Guyanese heritage. References to hibiscus flowers, but also gardens link plants to land to place to home. Arming by Clara is a work by Anique Jordan that was inspired by the story of Clara Ford, a black woman who was accused of murdering a wealthy white man in Toronto in the late 1800s. She was eventually acquitted, but the work itself stands as a monument to black bodies that are policed or targeted. It connects to you know, present day examples like Black Lives Matter movement in Toronto, it connects that to a longer history that goes back 100 years in the city. These two costumes represent a literal collaboration coming together of two places. Nip Sidhu, an artist of Indian descent, and Nicholas Gallanin, a First Nations artist, have collaborated to create these costumes that empower the figures and incorporate elements of both their cultures. An exhibition like Migrating the Margins represents a threefold shift. There's a geographic shift away from a singular downtown core art scene towards the outskirts, the suburbs, the margins. There's also a cultural shift that happens, a movement beyond a kind of homogeneous uh, identity towards one that reflects the true diversity of a city like Toronto. And then there's an artistic shift from a kind of pure conceptualism to one that includes more history and representation, not just linguistic but also political representation.